You know, it seems like every time you go to work with the bees, you're going to get stung. Because when you're picking up the frame, and uh, there's usually a bees are crawling around. This is why you have a smoker. And a smoker is only to calm them down. And when you smoke the bees, you give them a few puffs of smoke, okay? Into the entrance. So you go up to the, you go up to the hive, and you go like that. And the smoke goes in there. The bees actually go towards the honey, and they fill up on honey. And they can't bend over with their stinger to uh, sting you. Now, not all of them are going to fill up on honey. There's going to be a few stragglers. So when, when you uh, actually, actually pick up a frame, they're walking along the top of the frame. There's going to be one that you know, gets on your hand and all of a sudden he just wants to sting you for, for some reason. So he stings you on your hand. You get one on the palm. You know, But it's good for you because it prevents arthritis. You know, that's why people uh, will go to uh, beekeepers that are licensed to uh, work with um, people that have MS, multiple sclerosis. They give them a bee sting. And the venom in that stinger will, it's sort of like inoculation, but for some reason, the venom in it will help them to uh, walk. Mainly, this is where I do all my extracting when it's time for the season. This is the uncapping tank where I do all the, where I do the framework and, you know, all the frames. And you can see, I've got boxes up here where I store the, where, this is a good example of where the bees store the honey, all right? And right now, there's no honey in it now because this was last last year's. This is called an extractor. All right. And the frame, once the honey's on here, the wax capping is off. It goes right inside, right in here. And what it does is when you turn it on, it turns and the centrifugal force so that it just takes the honey right out and it goes right into this tank. Now, this here tank is a holding tank where after you process the honey, it goes inside here and uh, it uh, accumulates in here and then I, uh, I take it out of here. I have a, a spigot here which I can uh, you know, draw it off and uh, do my bottling and so forth. This is the bee suit. If you want to get a good shot of that, what a beekeeper wears. There's different styles. There's different, uh, you know, uh, protectiveness. There's there's uh, gloves that a beekeeper uses. Pry bars for prying, because once the bees start producing honey, and they love to seal things up tightly. I mean, it's like you can't even get it off. You can't even pull this off. So this is what this is used for. So when you take that cover off, you just jam it like that. And you pull that cover off. Just like that. Okay? Now, the frame... The frame goes in here, just like that. And this is the entrance. Okay? This is your bottom board. This is a hive body. And this is called the outer cover. I do everything in here. You know, I, I build the, all these, well, I, have, I don't build the wooden parts. It's easier to get them manufactured. I could build them here, but it would just take too much time. So it's easier for a company that are set up to do it every day, and that's what they do. And if I run out of parts, this is what I do, you know. So it's amazing what these little creatures, these little bees, will do. And these little nests, these wasps nests, are just the, kind of my decoration, my, you know, kind of makes it kind of a... They have nothing to do with beekeeping. No, 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 no. Those are wasps. Yeah. Those are wild wasp nests I get in the fall time. The honey from the stores usually comes from uh, a foreign country, China.
China is one of the biggest producers of honey. They import so much honey here that they can sell it for 18 cents a pound. You cannot buy water for 18 cents a pound. And the people that are buying it are your uh, cereal companies. The thing about China is it's not 100% uh, honey. They, they add corn syrup to it. So they, it's an additive. So when you think you're getting real honey, you're not getting real honey. Once you process it, you spin it out, you filter it through to get all the bee parts. Because in honey, when they store the honey, there's going to be all kinds of uh, different material matters, like maybe uh, parts of uh, old, oh, I don't know, maybe, you know, dead bees that maybe had fallen or something and they somehow got mixed into that, you know, into the honey when they stored it into the cells. You're going to find particles of that and debris and uh, once you spin it out, you'll be able to see it all in, in the filter bag, you know.